we, we start the thing now, so this is an interview today, 3rd of March 2023, 2.30. <laughs> <laughs> I like the positioning because later then... Yeah. Uh, because do you, I, do you I, I keep, keep uh, diaries? Do you do yes, I do, yeah. I do, I do, I do, I do. I keep all the material, all the interviews or speeches. Sometimes I have speeches with, mm. with, with other friends, with artist friends. And they particular not 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 like an interview. They're more like a meeting and, and speeches. And then yeah, I keep them all. I have a whole list, and they're, they're like in an archive. And then often when I have time, I listen to the speeches. Nice. And always, when you listen to them again, then you find interesting things. Ah, oh, yeah, we talked about that. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, let's go in again. So, yeah. and then I start to transcribe the the speeches sometimes or accepts. Oh, there's a there's a paragraph, there's something which I really could use yes. for a project yeah. or, or for an essay, and then I just. Uh, Sometimes cut it you out. need to warm up to a good conversation. Yes, <laughs> yes. You cannot right away have. Yes, until, <laughs> until this is all gone, this is gone, this is gone, this is gone, it's yes. all gone, and yeah. then there's no. There's no camera. Like in the gallery, there was no camera. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Not sure. They had some. Yeah. But you know, that's the thing, like, I mean, in, in a way, we're always being recorded because uh, I think it, it catches, the, the smartphone catches keywords. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, like, um, so first of all, thank you so much, Eric, for doing this. <laughs> this welcome, welcome here in my studio. <laughs> <laughs> it is. No, thank you, Brian. It's wonderful. I'll, 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 sh I'll, I'll shoot the view also. When sure, I, I sure. And cut it, cut it in into yeah. the, the interview. Sure. Uh, no, I think, I think you're very lucky to have. So you just said this is the oldest condo in the. Yeah, the that's Taisatif Condo in Bangkok. Is is the the oldest condo in Bangkok. That's the first ever built condo, yeah. and that's how it looks like. It's quite an old style, you know. Yeah. It's like when you see the condo, it's a lot of patchwork because it seems like today the condos look all the same, like boxes, you know. There is, there's, they're all the same. Yeah. And here, when you look from outside, there's, it's patchwork. There's a balcony, there's a big window, there's a small window, there's another balcony. So there is no structure, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. very random. It's almost mm -hmm. like it's, it's, it's a patchwork condo. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like that the, the, the rules to build might be more free, more, 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 more space, more tolerance. So yeah. they did it the way they did it. Because this is not, this is not like a condo management, this is like uh, all private owners. Yeah, that, that's, what, that, that's how it uh, I mean, used to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is, everyone owns a condo and, and, and so there's a management for the whole maintenance. But everyone, okay, if someone wants to have a big window, or maybe more, more small window, or make, make a balcony, mm. you do it. So there will, there will be not like, oh no, you can't do it, because it doesn't fit with the other, yeah. other spaces outside, you know, they're looking yeah. for the outside, it, it should look good. So in the new condos now, I think you, you can't do this, because it's a different concept. Mm. And at that time, they, they could do it. I have one friend, he lives on the 18th floor, yeah. and the whole floor is actually one big penthouse room. Mm. And he built the windows, he, he bought it, mm. and um, it's beautiful. And he built the windows, it's from the, from the floor until the ceiling, it's all glass. Mm. When you're up there, you're like, wow, <laughs> like, like a penthouse. Yeah. And then we have rooms on, on the lower floor, so they're, they're like really more like Thai style. Mm. Small windows, and they have a lot of stuff in, they hardly can see outside, so it's yeah. quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the, the when everything gets uh, too organized, I think the creativity gets lost, right? So that yes. Everybody thinks that this is what should be done, and then yeah. they follow the rules. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe architecturally, maybe it's like, I don't know, I, I'm not an architect, but like, <laughs> I would say here, yeah, it seems like, I mean, there's an architecture, of course, there was an architect, but it's, it's, it, seem, it seemed like it left a lot, a lot of space for creativity for mm. their own ideas, yeah. which comes close to creativity or when we talk about art. Yeah. That's why also in this building there's a, a lot of, so the foreigners were living here, they're, mm. they're, they're all mainly working in the section of art, mm. performance, journalists, movie maker, yeah. designers, yeah. so fashion designer, uh, filmmaker, documentary maker, uh, a photographer, French guy, mm. um, 
yeah, that just come in my mind uh, immediately. There's a few more people. Yeah. So we're all working in that kind of creative section, so to say. Mm -hmm. And we need that kind of space which is not perfect, which is a little bit run down as well. When you see the, the yard, it's all a little bit run down, yeah. but that's okay. And also, it's, it's a very social place. Normally, condominiums, they can be quite anonym. They're huge, and everyone closes the doors, and so you, so you, you don't know the people often. Yeah. But here, it's a bit different. You know the people by the time they live for a long time. And I like, I would call it the elevator pitch. You know, when you, have to, when you tell a story in an elevator yeah. pitch. Yeah. No? And I like that, because then you go, you enter the lift, on the, on the first floor, you're going up here, and that time you just exchange some, it's hello, how are you, oh, wh what did you do today, wh where you went today, oh, what did you buy, whatever, just like a little small talk, which gives a good feeling for people to know each other. Yeah. And that, that, that's nice, you know. Well, sometimes, I don't know, like even uh, yesterday, <laughs> like sometimes people don't even say hello back, like I say, mm -hmm. I say hello. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, there's some people they say hello, some people they wave. I would say more typical. Okay. Yeah. We, don't, we don't know our neighbor, yeah. Like yeah. neighbors. And okay. Like, yeah. yeah, here I know my neighbors now. So, I mean, I'm, well, I'm, I'm more like a person who approach people to yes. acknowledge, that I acknowledge them and yeah. then say, hey, hello, just say hello and I do it a few times until they start to say hello yeah. and then it builds the relation and the connection, you know. It's just about, just about feeling good with it. Mm. So there's a there's a family on the next on the next bigger it's, it's, it's a bigger uh, flat yeah. so, so there's studios like this there's bigger flats and they be very anonym and they they didn't talk to anyone and then somehow I don't know when I I, I talk to this lady lives there and suddenly we always greet each other when she see mm -hmm. me outside she always greet me and wave the hand you know. Yeah. And that's nice, you know, so you just... You need to break the ice. Yeah, you need to break the ice, <laughs> and, uh, and I love to break the ice, because, yeah, yeah someone has to do it sometimes, yeah. and then when, when I'm in the mood to break the ice, then yeah. I like to do it, because you start conversations, you, you, you get to know people. Mm -hmm. You feel different in a space when you know, okay, I know these people a little bit, ah, we see each other, so you know other people living here. Yeah. And the nice thing is that the, it's, it's always quiet here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's wonderful people. Yeah. So it's, it's so You do many wonderful things and um, like, of course, I only know a little part of, I've seen, like, um, like uh, actually, we will also film, like, the, the album yeah, the here, <laughs> later after we uh, shoot this. Um, so can you tell us, like, what, what, what do you do? Like, what are the, what kind of activity, what kind of creative projects do you do? You do? Um, Let's start in the beginning. I started as a photographer. Uh -huh. So this was in? In Munich, in Germany, okay. a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Then... From the photography, well, then my plan was to be, a, well, I had already the idea to make movies, so I want to be a cameraman. And then I found out it's not so easy and, and, and tricky, so I said, okay, I, I leave that, but maybe this is, is the way it's too long until I'm, I'm doing what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And so then I went into performance art. I, I, I became a mime artist, so from photography into mime, which is very different. Well, actually, the, same, the similarity is it's all visual. Yeah. So it seems like uh, that always the visuality, something visual, visual art mm -hmm. altogether was always an, an interesting uh, um, um, space for me to, to, the, to explore. There's also an element of posing, right? Yes, posing, the, forms, positioning, yeah. physicality, physicality, clarity, also, right? clarity. Yeah. clarity. Yeah. And then after mine, I went to physical theater, mm -hmm. and physical theater, then also always in between, I started painting. Then the painting came and went, so it come and go, and it was like faces where I painted, and I stopped for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then the painting started again, and then mm -hmm. suddenly the physical theater came together with the painting, with the visual art. And so now it's more like that, I'm more like an artist who is working in multiple disciplines. So I'm not a painter, I'm not a mime, I'm not a writer, I'm not a movie maker, but I do it all. <laughs> <laughs> so because I, I, each thing is for me like a media to, to, to create something, mm -hmm. to express, to share something with 
with the world, with people, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, to make a video is a media. To use the body into a physical theater performance is a media. Mm. Painting is a media. Mm. And uh, the interaction was always very crucial for me. So interact with people. When I was a photographer, I liked that. Then as a mime, I was doing a lot of performances with interaction with the audience, improvisation on the street. I did street theater for a long time, mm. where I learned to improvise and to be with the people. And, and then even now in painting, uh, I'm, there is an invitation for people to engage, to yeah. be part of a process. So I like, to, I like to work or play or explore with people. Mm. I like that, yeah. And when you started painting, like how, what kind of thing, paintings were they? Like were they really representation of like paintings or were you still abstract back then? Oh, at the beginning it was very formal actually. My first paintings, mm. I might, I, I, I want to send you some, I will send you some photos. Yeah. Because they have been very different like this. But the same colors. So uh, mm -hmm. the painting started again when I came the first time for traveling to Thailand in 1990. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, what was striking me here, the first time I came here and it flashed me, was the orange color and the gold color when you go to the temples. Mm -hmm. So the monk wearing these orange robes and yeah. there's a gold pagoda and gold Buddhas yeah. and the gold they put on the Buddhas and so on. So, and, and this combination of orange gold was just like hitting me like, oh my God, this is amazing. It's very powerful. Mm -hmm. So then when I went back to Europe after my traveling, I started a series to make paintings and they just orange and gold. Mm -hmm. Very formal. No abstract, no, no, mm -hmm. there's nothing wild. It's very organized. Uh, it's, it's quite concrete painting, we call them. It's, 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 it's not naturalistic. You, you, you just see shapes. Okay. Very clear squares and shapes, and they're very organized. I will show you later. I will send it to you. More so, patterns. Yeah. yeah, like for example, like a like. Do I have an example here now? Uh, it's, yeah, it's, okay. It's, 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 it's it's okay. It's just like when, when I have this here. Okay. okay, it's just like let's say this is orange. Okay, mm -hmm. this is orange now, and and on on top there's another another color which is gold, something like that. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And it's just about the proportions, the golden yeah. cut and so on. So I work with the golden cut and I use only two colors and nothing else. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, that was the starting actually. And then it went on with abstraction. Mm -hmm. Then I did a series of paintings in Greece for many years, which I, 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 I did on Chutisak. On, on, so not on canvas, okay. so on, on very, like the Duraisak. The rice, wow. very very raw, yeah. and 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 then and then and there was the idea to use uh, recycled colors because yeah. I was in a summer camp where people went for painting classes and they threw away a lot of colors so left over so I always went on a rubbish bin and I always put out pull out the colors and with the colors I was just painting on the on the canvas so, but it was more like color collages it was mm -hmm. super abstract it was just like colors colors colors. There was no intention to create something, oh, this is a landscape, this is uh, something clear, mm -hmm. realistic or something. It was just like abstract. It was just like playing with colors, chaos, mm -hmm. chaos of colors, journey of colors. And then I, I came back to the Orange Gold with this touch project, where, where it's very abstract, yeah. it's abstract, so there is no clear form and shape. Yeah. But there's only three colors. Oh, there's four now. So orange is the is the is the background, the canvas. It's orange color, yeah. and on top there is a gold color, white color, and coffee color. Mm. And that's so like I'm limiting the colors now and see uh, how different each painting and performance where the painting happens become the differences. Mm. So one concept, but really with once the same input but very different output. So, um, yeah, people actually can go watch videos, right, on your yes, website, yes. Of, like, how it's actually yes. so, yeah, um, so, uh, is there, like, another upcoming touch, pro like, touch project? Yeah, there's two. The next one will be in Europe, okay. in, uh, close to Vienna. Uh -huh. It's in a little village. Yeah, you, know, you told me about that, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's called Hunsheim. No one in the world knows the village, Hunsheim. In Austria, even people in Austria, in Vienna, they hardly know that village because it's, it's such a tiny 
nice village mm. where nothing happened. <laughs> it's super boring. Yeah. It's nothing. But I got fascinated by, by this village. Somehow it, it, it kind of attracted me. Yeah. And then I said to a friend of mine, so they have a house there and they invited me on a weekend to, 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 to stay there. And, 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 and then I said, oh, I would love to do the performance here. Mm -hmm. Normally I do it, you know, in Bangkok, in uh, Vientiane, in Vienna, so in the cities, in galleries, in events, festivals, yeah. so big stuff, so to say. And then I thought, okay, I want to do this performance here in this village. Mm. And I did it last year the first time, mm. and six people came. <laughs> and I said, never mind, I do it. I do it even with two people, because mm. it's about doing it, yes. starting it. Yeah. And I do it again in May in that village. And the idea is to do it every year once in springtime when I'm available, yes. when I have time. To, to do it again and again in this little village. Mm. And you're probably opening doors for other yeah, yeah, yeah. creators yes. to kind yes. of start. Like, like, nobody wants to be the first because they yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then once you do that, like, yeah. people will say, like, why not? Yeah. Quite interesting. Last year, I mean, last year it was a very spontaneous decision to do it in summer. Mm -hmm. So the, I did some, I, I invited people and so on, but it was a short notice, so not mm -hmm. many people came. It was in July, mm -hmm. and so and then I said, okay, next year we do it in May, mm -hmm. and I'm already starting to announce it in, for example, in social media like in mm -hmm. Instagram and Facebook, and people already, oh, I should note this now, I should come. So they start already to yeah. to realize, mm -hmm. and there might be more people this year. Yeah. And even there is not more people than last year, we'll do it again next year. So <laughs> it's, this is something, it's, it's more, I just like to do it. There is, no, there is no reason why you do it. Oh, you know, it's just like, I want to do it. Mm -hmm. And I can't even tell you why. I just feel I want to do it there. Yeah. <laughs> do you, I mean, so going back, like when you decided to become, like, I, I don't know, when, when did you decide, like, because you said you started with photography, like, um, so, do you remember the moment when you decided to give your life or not your life, but like your time to creative career or creative um, projects? Uh, well, the first time when I when I start to give my time, my, my focus on creativity was actually already when I've been a kid. But it was mm -hmm. still, of course, far away from any mm -hmm. consciousness about, about a professional yes. science, yeah. of course. But still, as a kid, actually, I did, I did comics. As a kid, mm -hmm. I was writing, I took photographs, so I started, I had a, a, a cassette recorder, the, the, the music cassette, so I was recording uh, radio plays and sounds, noises, just recording, yeah. so I started already to create something and, and, and uh, re recording stuff. Mm. And, and make an archive. And, mm. and I still have actually some stuff from that time. Mm. And even I created a magazine with, with comics, with a friend together, with comics and little riddles and stuff like this. <laughs> I have one sample still in Vienna in my yeah. archive. So, and I was, that time I was 14. Mm. And, but I started already a bit 9, 10. I got already interested into doing something different than most people mm. do. So, and, but then I became a photographer. But of course my intention was to do art, documentary, people, traveling, of course. That was my, my vision. But I ended up in a, in, a, in a studio for industrial photography, for advertising. So it was kind of boring for me and then I, I stopped it because I, I saw the reality. Yeah. And, I, and, and I saw the reality and here's my vision and I could, I could not see that it's coming together. Mm. So I decided to leave that that profession mm -hmm. but the photography it's always a con it's, it's always with me the whole life I love mm -hmm. to take pictures now I love to take photographs or I photograph my artwork and, and the context of the artwork and yeah. so on so it's part of my work as well um, but then then I started with street theater and that's it was in my early 20s when I decided so I think I'm going that way Mm. I didn't know exactly where it will go. I had no, I had, I had just a very unsharp vision. I want to go there. It was very foggy. It's like, did, okay. Did you start alone? The, the, the it was with no, I, no I, I started with a friend. Yeah. I got the inspiration with a friend in Munich mm. and, and he did st street mime and the street theater. And I said, okay. oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then I said, oh, I want to do it. And it was a bit. Is like very on the spot, like you don't need yeah. a stage or. You 
No, no, on the street you just need a space and, yeah. and then you just there and you yeah. start. The thing was that actually I said, oh, okay, let's do a mime show, but I had no idea how to do a mime show. Yeah. So I had no technique. I was physically not so aware and my, my movements have mm. been very lousy, so to say, at that mm. time. But still I want to do mime. Mm. And then we created some short stories together and then we played them on the street. And it worked very well. Even even I had no idea is, is that is that is mm -hmm. is that technically interesting? Is it working? We just did it because we had that passion and that idea yeah. and this was so wonderful. And my first performance ever in my life was in Munich on the Marine Square on a Saturday midday. Mm -hmm. And I still remember that we had this show, we did we, we maybe we worked one hour and then for the first money we ever got as an artist, we went to eat pizza. <laughs> I remember that it was just like so. It, it, it's 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 very it's very it's, it's, it's nothing big, but I, I just like wow, this is. I remember it because we celebrated. We have been so, wow, it worked. We had audience. Yeah. We had success, even without really not knowing what to do properly. Yeah. <laughs> so we had little stories, and then then I, I worked on it, and then also I learned mine. Just like be free from all these rules and yes. it should be like this and that, you know. Yeah. Well, like children do it. Right? Yeah. Children are great artists. Mm. We all have been great artists somehow when we have been in, mm. in our childhood. With drawing, painting, doing something. I mean, this is all out of proportion. Yeah, and the sun I, is blue and the clouds are orange, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. They don't, they don't care. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, no, can, I, can I ask, like, is, is your friend, like you, you started theatre, is, is he still in the creative? Uh, yes, yeah. yes. Now he's, he's more like, and then he became more like a clown and juggler and musician, so he did solo shows, yeah, he's still, he's okay. still sort of say, in that section, yeah. I'm, I'm interested in that, in that, like, phase of life, with, because uh, I'm sure many people, like, watching or, like, I talk to, um, they want to try creative things, but they they always like like I don't know what they'll say to themselves like oh uh, will I make money or will I will it be helpful for me or you know like so uh, like when you started like did you struggle with that like did you like uh, like what did your parents I don't know if your parents said anything like was were there any people stopping you from <laughs> trying the, at least they tried. <laughs> <laughs> they tried, but they didn't succeed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, for me it was not the question, okay, for example, can I make a living with it? Yeah. Or, or does it make sense? Or does it help me? It was more like this kind of inner drive. I just want to do that. Yeah. I want to do it. It was just like, yeah, like, like again, like a child want to play and the child does not ask why it's playing. What? What what is the outcome for what what's the message? So there was no there was no reason why I do it. It was mm. just it was just for the sake of doing it in yeah. the moment. And I just enjoyed to create to to use the fantasy mm. and have a vision and just follow that even without knowing where it goes and why I do it. it, it there was no I didn't ask for anything. It was just like oh I like that. Mm. I just like it and it just feels good. And something happened which I could not define and no need to define at all at that time. I was just, I want to do it. I want to mm. do it. Mm. But why? And what's the purpose? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, it, it felt so right to do it. It was just mm. a feeling, it feels so right to do it. Mm. And, and, and now today when I look back, uh, now I have I found more 
connection, why I'm doing it, and okay, in connection and relation with, with community, with society, with the world, because I'm not alone in the world and so on. And I found, oh, good that I always kept going because um, the answer why I'm doing it or the purpose, so to say, it needed a long time to find out. And when I see suddenly how the art, not only what I'm doing, yeah. any art, is affecting people mm -hmm. and it's necessary and it's important and it's crucial and it's powerful and it's it's delighting it's inspiring it's 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 energy it's full for life so to say it's nourishing life since I, I got aware about that I'm like wow it's good to that I had a long breath to keep going even without really knowing where it goes I had no idea well I'd like to do it I do it I do it I do it but I, I didn't really have a clear I couldn't explain it I couldn't mm -hmm. find an articulation now I can, but it took me a long time, mm. a long time to find that, and that was the process. Mm. So, and uh, because I found the art is 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 very essential. Mm. It's for me very essential. It's for me equal with anything else. Mm. And I know in that world where we're living now, in that time, all oh, art, yeah, it's beautiful, it's good, it's fun. It's for relaxation. Yes, that's all ingredients, and mm. that's very important, of course. Um, but now it's more like yeah, it's more like about yeah, economy, commercial. Everyone goes for business, for finance, for for engineering, for science, which is all good. That's all great. Mm -hmm. But for me, for me, this is m not more value than art. Yeah. Art for me is equal. Yeah. I always say that for me, art is equal with economy, with science. It's all there. It's all aspects of something. So there's not only art, there's not only science. Mm -hmm. and that's what I always kind of, I'm not fighting for this, I'm not a fighter, oh, I have to, we have to fight for something. No, I'm just like, I'm just, uh, how to say, I, I just place it there. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm doing art and that's why, and when I see then people get inspired, and now younger people, which I'm teaching now, yeah. you know, they get inspired and they suddenly, ui, there is coming something in the, that's great because uh, that's the next step. I do art for a long time, since I'm young and until now, and now I can feel, oh, this goes already to the next mm. generation, there's people follow. And I'm very happy that I see, oh, people still follow the art way. I would say, oh, now people change, you know, the generations change, they're not any more interested, la, la, la. Uh, I, I don't feel so. It's, yeah. it's, it's still, younger people still want to do art because it's human, it's, it's inbuilt in, in, in humans. Yeah. I trust in that and it's, now it's really fun for me and joyful to, to share experience with young artists, with young mm. people. Whether it's in an international school, because I also work in education now, yeah. in project with art and education. And it's nice to see that they're suddenly getting like big eyes and they're getting inspired and they have ideas and they become very creative and yeah. find their own paths, yes. more or less. And that's fantastic, you know. And, 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 and now I see even there's even an, an, a next purpose why I'm doing art. First, I just did it because I do it. This, the second one was, okay, it's very crucial, essential and important for us and it's nourishing life. And now it's, well, now it's transmitting it and transfer it to the next generation, to people who want to, or could be anyone, could be people even an older generation which suddenly connect to art. Mm. Happens quite often that people are start suddenly getting, oh, now I'm getting a glimpse about art. It took a long time, it took me maybe 50 years for some people. And so that's what I like about art. And that's, and that's, and that's it's cementing my position as an artist even mm. more. It's rooting, it's rooting very deep now. Mm -hmm. Art is not only fun, Art is not only beauty, mm. it's art as well, as well. It's fun, it's beauty, it's yeah. joyful. Yeah. But also there is it's, it's energy, it's questioning, yeah. it's process, yeah. it's a mirror. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's quite a life process actually. Mm. It's creative, it starts to change the thinking, it, it quests the thinking and the mindset. So I'm mm. always confronted with my own mindset when I work and suddenly I do something and I'm like, oh, wait a moment. So the, I, lo I love it. Mm -hmm. So, because as an artist or as a, as a human, you, you're never ready. <laughs> now I'm ready, now I know everything, now I'm, now I'm done. No, I feel like, oh my God, there's so many things to learn. Yeah. To learn, and I love learning, you know, and, and even when I teach students, 
as opposed to teach them. So they are the learners and I am the teacher, but actually I'm a, I'm a learner as well and they teach me. <laughs> I like that, you know, it's, it's yeah, it's, it opens a lot. Have you, um, like, uh, like did, did you have a chance to have conversations with the students? Like, did you, did you get any questions about art? Yeah, 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 I do, I do, yeah. yeah. So what, what kind of questions did you get? Like, what, what are young people, or what, what do you think young people see as art? Like, what, like the, There's two questions that come very often. One is the one, so, uh, can you make a living with art? Is it possible to make a living? That's one question. It's very much like these times now when everything is into business and commercials so and everyone thinks in quantity. Yes. That's okay. That's fair enough. And uh, another question is, where do you get the inspiration mm. from? Yes. Because it seems like there are many people who kind of want to go to art but they don't know how to enter, they don't know where to get in, where's, where's the first spark to, mm -hmm. to lightning the fire, so mm -hmm. to say, mm -hmm. okay, as an image. And that's, that's the book, these two questions, I, I, they're, they're coming very often. Mm -hmm. And then I say, uh, it's tricky when you're from the beginning already becoming, going into the quantity mind, okay, can I make a living with my art? So I have to be very good, so you, you create a lot of self-expectations, yeah. and pressure yeah. and that's mm, these two are not good ingredients to become creative to be open yeah especially if you put the barometer like the, the criteria as like financial like meaning like the more money you make the more successful you yeah. are as an artist yeah. you're giving away yeah. the basically the pleasure to an external factor right instead of yeah it has like uh, for me it's like yeah like when, when I teach people, they, everyone, like almost everyone, I, I know they say to be modest, they say like, oh, I don't know how to draw, but then when they come and join, they, they, they go away, I mean, they, they, at the end of the workshop or something, they just, they've drawn something really beautiful. I mean, uh, um, I think people are just programmed, like, just because my drawing doesn't look like the photograph or the, like that object, I'm a bad at mm. drawing. No, actually drawing is not about, like, if I want that object, I'll just take a photo, like, uh, but drawing is more, like, like you said, art is like so, so much more than <laughs> just like... It goes beyond. Yeah. It's, it's like when you create an artwork, whether it's, it's a sketch, it's a comic, it's a drawing, it's yeah. a painting, okay? A photo you can copy all the time. You yeah. can copy, copy, copy it, okay? And uh, to yeah, to copy an art, original artwork is already more difficult. You know, yeah. it's it's very unique. It's it's one it's one work, so to say, one original one. Yeah, okay. Some some people can copy that maybe, but we don't talk about that. Oh, well, try to copy this work here. <laughs> this abstract <laughs> like work. Uh, have fun. Huh? So, um, but um, um, so it's very unique, and 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 for that uniqueness, you need to be totally free of any concepts of uh, reason, message, uh, uh, does, it, does it pay off and so on. We need to really leave that in that moment. I always say, okay, when I do art, I'm an artist. Okay? When I sell my art, I'm not an artist. Then it's mm -hmm. business. Yeah. Then I talk, okay, I have an artwork and then we, we talk, or, or when I arrange a project then there's a different mind coming in. But when I do the artwork, mm. then the whole heart, everything is into the art. And even it takes longer than I maybe blah, 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 I, I, I assume, then I, I whatever, calculate, it doesn't matter. Then it doesn't matter. So the, the, the quantity doesn't matter anymore when I work art. Mm. So, and, and, and the, the, the thing is to find that the transition balance between different uh, necessities. So when you do art, it is necessary to free the mind and not think, oh, is it good? Is it bad? Does it pay off? Do I become famous? Is it good enough to become famous? Will people like it? Will they not like it? Oh my God. And so on. So all these questions, yeah. they're all blockades. But also they're coming very naturally because of conditioning of people. And but then when it's done and you, you set up an exhibition or you go on whatever you then you have then you use a different a different mind 
That's absolutely fine. Yeah. That's fine. The, um, I don't know if, like, talking about students, like, uh, like the one, another question that I get from people is like, uh, I don't know, do you, do you get art blocks where, I mean, do you know what is an art block, which is like, you, you cannot create or like, you don't feel like creating. Do you get those kind of moments when, like... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So how do you handle that? Like, how, what, what do you do? Well, I think... As I work in multiple disciplines, so sometimes let's say if there's a block in writing or in painting, I just I just work with another media. <laughs> yeah. And but also sometimes there also is a block for all the medias. That can happen as well. Mm -hmm. And I just take a break. So yeah. it happens so often that I, I I can naturally trust in it that it will start again. And 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 I and I allow myself now. Then take a break. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then <laughs> go walking. Go drink coffee. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little journey. Mm -hmm. Maybe reading books. Yeah. Uh, watching movies. Mm -hmm. But watching not art movies. Do something else. Just go meet people. Meet meet friends. Yeah. Go out eating. Mm -hmm. Enjoy life a little bit. Yeah. Because we have to leave that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but I had to learn it. It's not so easy. <laughs> and and um, so you know, you, you said that you are kind of like uh, doing many things, right? So um, and some people think that's wrong. Like some people think that oh, um, I don't have one thing to focus on. Like what what do you think about that? Do you do you think it's good to? I don't know. Some people say like oh I. I I have, I'm doing too many different things and I cannot focus on mm. one thing, like, uh, what, what, do, what do you think about that? Mm. Certainly, it it's depends from, from people's inclination and character. Mm. I can uh, totally understand if someone say, oh, I need to, I want to focus on one thing. Okay, I want to do paintings, yeah. I do this, this is absolutely okay. Or, or I want to be just doing, I'm, I'm a dancer, I just dance. Yeah. And. Uh, for me, it's not so important because I don't, because I feel when I do the painting, when I do a video, in each one I'm focusing. Mm -hmm. It's more interesting, it's not, so much, it's not so much that it's trouble for me, it's more like trouble for people mm -hmm. than when they get me to know. And so, so, so are you a painting artist? Are you a performer? Are you a dancer? Are you, a, are you making movies? Mm, I say I'm not a painter in, in that regard. I'm not a performer. I, I'm doing a lot of things. So I'm, yeah. I call it like a multiple discipline artist. If you need a, a, a definition for that, and that's okay for me. For some people, it's okay. They like it and they can handle it. And mm -hmm. there's always people they struggle with it. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, and. Yeah, so it, it, that's also the process when you work. You need to find out, do you want to focus on one thing, which is yeah. okay? You want to be a movie maker? That's fine. Or a writer? Or... Because also, I met many artists, which also that inspires me. For example, I remember there was one dancer, Bob Curtis, amazing dancer. He, he danced and teach until 84. Mm. And he was still in, in good shape until 84. That's an age. And also, he painted. Mm -hmm. And then when I got him to know, then I said, okay, so, so are you, I asked the same question, like many people, are you a yeah. painter or are you a dancer? Yeah. And he said, well, wh he said, where the brain goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought, well, I like that. And so, and it's, it's, but he was more famous and well known as a dancer. And many people didn't know that he's, a, he's actually yeah. a painter because he started as a painter. Mm -hmm. And the dancing came later and I had a total... Uh, wrong image about because I thought oh he's a dancer from the first note and the painting came later yeah. so so interesting and then I discovered by conversations that and then but also he said yeah painting dancing it's all the same you use your brain you use your heart it's it's just a way to articulate something to express something and, and, and that, that, that was for me an inspiration and very helpful for my own process later. Mm. Not need to. I had a time when I was younger, I, I remember 
there also I needed to have a definition, an identity. So I'm a mime artist, I'm a photographer. So mm. I, I remember I, I had that need for it and it, and, and it, and it was confusing for me. And it, it made me very unsatisfied, like I mm. made me a little restless. So I, well, I should know what I'm doing, who I am. <laughs> but now I'm like, <laughs> I still don't know. But now it's more, more like, oh, I don't need to know anymore. It's not, it's yeah. not any more important. <laughs> I think it also comes with the experience and age, and uh, you, get, you get wiser. <laughs> that's, 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 def that's something definitely what I would say, yeah, so that's, that's, that's nice when, when, when we so-called aging and we're getting, or I call it maturity, yeah. mm -hmm. unfolding like a, like a blossom, that's, that, that is something you can enjoy which we not often can enjoy when we're younger. This is different, it's different energy. Yes. There's different energies when we're young, it's, it's amazing, I mean I loved the time when I was younger, yeah. but also I really love the time now, I find it amazing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, I th that takes time because it's a learning process. Yes. Yeah. It's a learning, it's experience, life mm -hmm. experience. You know? mm -hmm. But then that's what I also see as, a, as very essential and crucial to share this with other generations. Yeah. That they get inspired, they can take it, they can leave it. They can drop it. They can use it. Like, why, why are you talking about that? Is there, do you think you have goals as an artist? Like, do you think is, is there something that you are trying to get to? Like, or are you just trying to have like? Yeah, I have no goals. Yeah, the I, have no, I have no goals. <laughs> <laughs> Where I want to be? Maybe sometimes, maybe there's a little goal like, oh, I would like to do an exhibition in that gallery or so. I want to do a performance okay, yeah. there. They're little goals, you know. Yeah. They're, they're not big goals. Uh, yes, to to they're more like on quantity. Okay, where I want to do my next performance, but no, no big goal because it's already all there. Yeah. But I feel like when I do art, it's all there. It's it's already mm -hmm. complete. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect, there's no perfection, but it's, it's abundant, it's complete. Mm. It's almost like, for me, is because also I, 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 I trained in Tai Chi, in, in meditation, so for me this is, this is actually the core of my whole work actually. That's mm -hmm. where I find the focus and then I can focus on different media. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I feel that all doing art is for me like a, it's for me like a meditation. And that means nothing else than just be here now doing something now. Yeah. And that's, that's the goal already in this moment where it happens. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, there's no goal in the future. Oh, I can see myself somewhere. No, yeah. I, no I cannot see myself mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can see myself now sitting here and talk with you. <laughs> looking at the light out and in the view. Yeah. That's what I see and that's what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. The future? No, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, I think you, you already touched on this topic. Like, so we, you know, Biki Kenzin is like, we are an independent magazine and our, like, we, on the website, actually, if you go to the website, it says, so that's our motto, which is uh, do, do what you love. Um, so, like, yeah, what, 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 do you, what do you think about that? Like, uh, do people, should, should they try to do what they love in life? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yes, they, they should try. Mm -hmm. And maybe, but because sometimes people, I can hear now, now people's voice already. Yeah, um, yeah but you know, I, I, I have a job and I need to yeah. make money. I have no time, I'm busy, there is family, there is uh, um, and commitments, obligations and so on. Yes, and obstacles a lot. Yes, we all have that. And then I say, well, well, to love what you want to do doesn't mean you have to do it for 24 hours or for 12 hours every day. So <laughs> the gift of, okay, let's say, give yourself, as an example, give yourself every day a half an hour where you really do what you love to do, whatever it is. It's a painting, a sketch, mm -hmm. you're writing a text, mm -hmm. you make a little movie, yeah. something you really love to do, where it's a space where it don't have to make sense. No, you don't have to have a message to the world. Exactly. You don't have to make money with it. Mm -hmm. People don't have to like it. You do it because you love it. And, it's, and this, is your, this is your time. Half an hour per day, that's just an example, or one hour. Mm. And, and then something can grow. Yeah. 
it's it's same like you know when people oh I need to I need to uh, whatever mm. I need to practice every day uh, eight hours piano or painting or sketching you know the, yeah. the the craft you know otherwise it doesn't make sense oh this is a really tricky thing you know because mm -hmm. you really block yourself already um, do it a little bit a little bit a little maybe a little story for that it fits quite well. Um, I'm, I'm, I was learning meditation when I was 18, okay, mm -hmm. and uh, and I had a crisis, so I got this kind of the call autogenic training, was a kind of meditation where you kind of working with formulas, you are kind of a little, how to say, like a, you you auto suggest you something, yeah? Yeah. it worked very well. So and we should practice. So I got once per week in this course, and then uh, we should practice every day and then a week later the teacher asked us so how is going your practice and then he asked me as well and I say well I don't have time I'm too busy then he looked at me and then he said to me okay so how many hours per day you work for your bank account mm. and I was like that's a funny question I was like well eight, nine, ten hours sometimes, yes. you know, so yeah. I give him this, <laughs> this answer. <laughs> and, then, and then he said to me, okay, then the ten minutes for your practice is not much. Yeah. And this really was really hitting me until yeah. today. Yeah. This is for me the most important, the most essential teaching for anything, whether you're learning meditation, you're learning Tai Chi, you're learning drawing, you're learning whatever you learn, ten minutes for you, minimum. They go very quick, and this is where you really, this is a gift. You don't need to sacrifice anything, because people sacrifice their whole life for eight, ten hours for making money. That's a sac the sacrifice in their lifetime for making money and having these goals. And uh, when you have ten minutes, for example, so, and then it starts to grow. And this is freedom. There's ten minutes freedom. This is, I found it very uh, important because the whole life now is, is, is organized, it's scheduled all the day, yeah. even the sleeping time is scheduled now. I mean, that's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, for some people maybe, but for me not, and for other people as well, not. So I think 10 minutes, start with 10 minutes. Yes, do definitely, absolutely what you love to do. Mm. This is very crucial, very essential. Mm. And start if you if if someone is nagging in your head, na 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 na, ignore it gently, and do ten minutes, mm -hmm. half an hour, every day, mm -hmm. up to you. Morning, midday, in the night, it doesn't matter. On the weekend, yeah. but do it regularly. Practice, mm -hmm. so you allow yourself to become creative, and don't think, oh, I have to do it for eight hours now. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because then you struck. That then yeah. you then you struggle with oh I can't do it because I have, I have no time and then you stop and then you back into the misery of not be creative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think that's that's very important because because art is uh, the creativity art is, is 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 well it's it's very it's nourishing. Yeah. You know it as well as a, as an artist. Yeah. And. Also, it's 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 quite it's quite healsome. It's mm. very it's very healthy. Yeah. It's healing in a way, in in, in 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 a more holistic way. It's healing. But like you said, it's, it's many things, and I, think I noticed one of the main things is also a very deep conversation with yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you 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 mentioned meditation. I think uh, yeah. I mean the creative process is very yeah. because you have to be present in yeah. the moment. It. it oh, it's. Of, um, Opens your eyes to what's absolutely important. yes, and, uh, yeah, uh, and like, yeah. So I, think <laughs> I found it very, I found it very, very essential, especially well for development. So to unfold our potential in yeah. life, we have now we have one chance, so yeah. we, can, we should un unfold now. We have one life. That's one life, yes. one chance. Yes. Do it now. Yeah, and and and, and do it now, mm. and 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 then also. Um, it's balancing your lifestyle, the so-called lifestyle, mm -hmm. or modern life, busyness, mm -hmm. uh, schedule, working, study, uh, meetings, obligations, commitments, and so on, so on. Mm -hmm. Business, it's always business, busy, 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 and that's and that also gives a, a balance to 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 have that time to 
be more free and, and mm. it's a different structure. Maybe there's no structure in that half an hour, 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah. And then it will grow naturally for some people more or less, but this is, this doesn't matter. Yeah. And you, and you also, you're more, you're more, more peaceful. Yeah. I find, I find doing art very peacemaking. Yeah. I, this way is very therapeutic. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going even the next step now, especially in these times now, I say uh, art is piecework. Yeah. It's piecework. And I, I mean, I'm, uh, you know, like it's, it's uh, I try to tell the stories because uh, I think most of us, we just talk to ourselves. Like the, whenever we have problems, we are thinking about something, it's basically you just hear your own voice and you're just talking to it. Uh, but when you create, uh, it's like putting a message in a bottle, like, and then uh, you don't know who will read it. But my hope is that someone will look, even like, you know, your art, like I think music, it can be anything. You just feel, and I think it's about how you feel, like, I, so I put my feeling into it, and then it connects somehow with someone else's feelings. And suddenly, they don't, people don't feel alone anymore. Like, mm -hmm. for, for even if it's just for 10 minutes or one minute, it can be like like that, and then I think that's, that's so like essential. It's very interesting point, yeah. That people you have I like that what you just said. You're not feeling alone when you share your art. Yes. Remember when whenever and you can I put it into words necessarily sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So. It doesn't matter. I'm going. I went into an exhibition. I went to see a dance performance, a movie, reading a book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not alone. Yeah. You're not lonely, so to say. You might be, al you want to be alone to enjoy, but you don't want to be this loneliness, which yes. many people uh, feeling and experiencing yeah. now. You know? And art brings people together. It's yeah. like it's it's it brings. A, are we still are we still on air online on 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 no, Earth? Still, still <laughs> on air the, on Earth. <laughs> we're, we're still recording the audience. Right? Oh, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is still. I just don't want to stop because. Sure, 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 this is, sure. This is gold. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so it's that's 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 an that's an interesting aspect to today. The loneliness and and, 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 and when, when people do art, you see when, when when people even do art projects like so I for example like like when I work in art and education I do a lot of projects with collaborations. Yeah. So working with other artists. So as artists in a group, we were in a team, we're working again with students. So we're sharing and it's a, it's an, it's a collaboration work. And that's really, that, that's, that's powerful. Mm. So when I do these projects, oh, I feel never alone. <laughs> this is just like, oh, it's, it's, it's so rich. Yeah. It's so rich. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely an, an important aspect today. Yeah. So this may be under the aspect of healing. Yeah. Yeah, healing. So, um, to, I think this might be like we can maybe end with this. <laughs> it's like, uh, because I, I could talk to you for hours. <laughs> oh, we can, we can if you like. I still have enough space to record. <laughs> you can use it as you like. Yeah. Um, no, it's just like, as a, so, uh, you know, I, I have this idea for, for this magazine that, you know, I want because I feel like social media, yes, uh, it's a tool, but uh, I feel like social media is demanding too much out of people. Like, for example, as an artist, okay, first of all, a lot of them are becoming like um, cash grabs, which means like they want you to pay to get more views or more likes. Or, uh, and then on the other side, you also have to post like very often, so people get obsessed with and, and I even fell into that trap where I was drawing to post instead of drawing for draw, the pleasure of drawing. Like, and, then, mm -hmm. and then you will miss one, oh, I forgot to post today, and then you'll feel bad. And then, you know, like it's, it, it, it's corrupting like, the, mm -hmm. the, the process. Um, like, so it's, yeah, like, so, so I wanted to create like, this magazine that can kind of create a platform for artists and art lovers outside of all these algorithms. Mm -hmm. um, and do you have any advice or any anything you want to say to like a growing 
magazine. <laughs> hmm. Like what, like what, do you have any expectations for mm. the future? Like Yeah, at first, uh, it just resonates, before I find an answer for this, it resonates when you said, yeah, you're falling in that trap, to, oh, you have to post something, so there's this kind yeah. of kind of social pressure, kind of presence pressure, to be visible, visibility. So, if I'm not posting anything, then I disappear, I'm, un I'm not anymore, vis in I'm invisible, so there's this kind of fear. Um, yeah, and that's a challenge in these times to manage this new, opportunities. It's interesting, it's a new opportunity but it's a big challenge as well. Mm. It's not only positive, so to say, because it has a lot of side effects, like you yeah. just mentioned, you're falling into and then you, oh my god, I forgot to, I forgot to post it, or oh, then yeah. you not feel well, or, oh, I should, uh, I should, uh, I should, or you, you're sketching for posting and not for the pleasure of yes. sketching yeah. itself, you, so you do it for that. And uh, for magazine, what what I would do? To no, not necessarily what, what I would do. Authentic, to, 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 no, 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 to, uh, to be authentic, uh -huh. to be authentic, mm -hmm. and be creative in setting the magazine. Try maybe different formats. Try, mm -hmm. when, you, when there's an idea, try the idea. Not, oh, does the idea, or is it, did already someone make it and is it yeah. working? Yeah. You might be a pioneer of something. Yeah. There's always some, exactly. you know, there is yeah. a, so, I mean, I like that, like the performance in this Hunsheim village, would, no, no one would ever go there to a performance. Yeah. I do it. And I'm not care if this would be successful in the future that something grows mm -hmm. or not. I don't care. And, and also, your definition of success is not, the general definition of yes. success. Yes, is, is yes, yes. Usually followers and what Sure, I many followers, they all love it, they <laughs> like it. Oh my God, I'm getting into a dopamine rush now. Yeah. And, and, and then now but I'm... For me, like, I, I think you're, <laughs> you're, you're quite similar in that. I think um, I love to serve people. Like, mm. it's like I love to do things for mm. people and see their reaction. Mm. So, like even with my wife, like I... Uh, like when I surprise her with like a meal or something that she said she liked. Mm. I really love the fact that she is very happy that mm. you know, I did mm. something mm. to make her mm. like a little bit smile. Or mm. I think same same way with my comics. Like, you know, I, I, I love humor, so I try to make people mm. laugh. <laughs> mm. Sometimes very black, dark humor. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. you know, and, and I think, yeah, that, that's... Um, so, like, like, so even if, like you said, like six people show up but they really like you can feel in their eyes that they, something changed or you, you yeah. have an impact. Yes, that. yes. That's like so powerful. For That's me. very powerful, yeah. absolutely. In this performance last year, there was two people from the village came. Mm -hmm. They never had anything to do with art. Mm -hmm. They never ever in their life went into any exhibition. And you know what? They painted like like crazy devils on that canvas. <laughs> I was just like, I have video. Can you can see the video? They painting, and they have been so. Oh, we love it. Yes. And I say, okay, okay, <laughs> wow, that okay, so called mission completed, so to say. Yeah. yeah. Accomplished. Accomplished. They say. So even this is not my intention, but like, oh, it, cool. It, it's almost like uh, the because you know our our human brain tries to symbolize things or simplify things so art for me is like this big animal that mm. like almost like nature that mm. doesn't really care about you but mm. but still mm. needs to be fed so like we artists are actually feeding like this art you know yes like, sure and, sure and, sure in a and way then, like, yeah. like when people say like where do your ideas come from well they, they come from just living yeah they yeah just, just they come from life itself yeah yeah from the moments Yeah, so the, the, to be authentic, to be a pioneer, I think is quite, to be, yeah, courage, just try, mm. try. Yeah, if it doesn't work, sure, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that happens. <laughs> that happens with everyone, even with big corporates who are very successful. Yes. It happens everywhere. Yeah. And I think, and, 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 uh, and yeah, success for me is more than uh, followers and numbers and maybe money, yeah. and maybe certificates, and I got a certificate here, I got a prize here. 
this is all so temporary anyway because mm -hmm. I see because also I, lo I love to explore philosophy this yeah. is very essential for me as well it's part of my character and I found it very interesting because I say there's always success mm -hmm. nothing is without success mm -hmm. that's how I see success that's how far I like to go uh, this interviews a success in yes. a certain way because we did it yes However it went and whatever you, yeah. you, you got or what you would <laughs> like or not like or you take or not take, it doesn't matter. It, it succeeded to be happen. Okay? And that's important. So when you do your magazine, it succeeds all the time because it happens. So what I would say, let it happen, let it happen. So when there might be a block or something, a blockade or something, mm, mm, let it happen. Let it always happen again. Because that's already success, mm -hmm. and 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 yeah, and and the other success, so to say, numbers and and all that stuff, you know, that takes quite a long time anyway. Yeah. Success, really good. You no, know, there is a lot of success of people that today they whoop and tomorrow they're gone, yeah. like a fire, like a straw fire. Yeah. Ah. and people, uh, when when we do it slow and 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 be more have a long breath and keep going and keep going, the, it's, it's more deeper rooted, the success is more powerful in, in the long term. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the short term, maybe not much. Mm -hmm. that, could, that, that, that could that have to be managed and have to be, be uh, go to. But in the long term, okay, for example, if the magazine is a longer time, let's say online, so yeah. to say, and you keep going, Maybe there is maybe a phases where it goes a little bit down for some reason. Maybe not enough response, no like, no likes, no no readers, no advertising or whatever you do. So you feel like okay, why we do it actually? I'm not sure. So keep going. Yeah. So well, even the, the submissions, like you know, we have different teams each month, mm -hmm. and sometimes we just get three submissions, and that's okay. Like you know, yeah. we, we just post it. We yeah. Just, yeah. And. Like even the, the some artists are with, like you know we ask the artist to send us a description of their artwork like maybe the tools they used or something like a background story from for the artwork and some people are very wordy mm -hmm. and some people just write two lines and that's mm -hmm. okay <laughs> like we yeah do, we uh, like I remember at the beginning uh, there was another person who was part of the, our group or friends who were managing the magazine and she was like. No, we should ask them this, and I said no. But you know, we 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 shouldn't force anyone to do anything because then you know it's not it won't be natural. So yeah. So thank you for <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. So I hope I hope you got some stuff. Sure. I got <laughs> stuff. So I'll just like shoot some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free.